love you. Yo, it's so I'm so happy. Like I'm 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 free right now. Like if I wanted to go to the store and buy a fucking a uh, a uh, a uh, a uh, uh, fucking chopped cheese, I'm a goat. These fucking lawyers, man. Yo, my God. Yo, shout out to these lawyers. Shout out to these fucking lawyers, man. Them niggas work quick as fuck. Yo, I'm so happy to be home. I can't wait to see my baby. I can't wait to see my daughter. Oh, my God, man. Takashi 6 ix snitching has finally paid off after he secured his freedom by dodging a life sentence, which we will go over in today's video. So make sure you watch until the end as you will not want to miss what we have to show you. Also, if you would like to enter this month's giveaway of a new pair of AirPods, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, leave a like on this video, and comment free 6 9 or keep 6 9 and you will be entered. So hyped to be home. Home for the summer. Home, yeah so man. Yo, I'm so excited. Yo, King of fucking New York. Look, I'm in my city. My bad. Right. King New York City, man. Back home, man. I'm letting my nuts hang on these niggas, man. Fuck they took my look me. Yo. Takashi 6 9 is a new generation American rapper. He was a part of Treyway, which is a blood gang called the Nine Trey Bloods. And if you know 6 9 then you know his funny and trolling personality with the bright rainbow hair and the letter 6 9 tattooed all over his body and face. He made a quick come up in the rap industry, dropping his first song to hit the charts, Gummo, which went completely viral and basically gave 6 9 his name and it earned him a very huge fan base very quickly and then he followed that song up with a lot of other hit songs that did reach the billboard charts like Kuda and Stupid and Fifi. So regardless if you are a 6 9 fan or not, there's no denying that he was very successful. He made the top charts over and over and gained a huge social media following in a short amount of time. But despite all of his success, his career has been on hold due to him being in prison for the last year. For those who are new to the case, 6 9 was indicted on charges related to racketeering, drug distribution, weapon possession, and conspiracy to commit murder. After his arrest, 6 9 was denied bail and he initially pleaded not guilty to all charges. He then later changed his plea to guilty after he decided to work with the feds by becoming a snitch for a reduced prison sentence. This was a dangerous move by 6 9 which not only lost him a lot of fans but also a lot of respect in the industry. During his trial, he released a lot of names and a lot of information, not only about other gang members involved in the crimes but also other big names in the industry like Cardi B and Trippy Red. This full cooperation has avoided him a minimum 47 year sentence, but even with dodging a long prison sentence, it's still unknown if he will have to serve more time. Also, he faces a lot of backlash from working with the feds, and who knows how safe he will be on the streets after snitching on so many people after he portrayed himself on social media to be this big tough gangster and he completely called out other people and trolled them about how no one could touch him and how gangster he was. So after months of waiting, finally with the crazy trial at its end, there has been some new information that has been released. And that is the update on the exact release date of Takashi 6 9 which means he will be released from prison sooner than we thought. His sentencing was set for January 24th of 2020, but due to his lawyers, they put in overtime. It has been pushed to December 18th of 2019. This means that Takashi 6 9s cooperation fully has paid off and he could be released from prison as soon as December 18th of 2019 which is in the next two months. This is going to be very interesting to see as so many rappers have already reacted to 6 9 snitching and he has received so much hate and threats from this. Who knows what life will be like for 6 9 when he is released. It's going to be very interesting to see how he acts on the outside after all of this has happened. Some new updates have came to light also about 6 9s career. In prison, he did recently sign a new deal, a record deal, which means that when he is released, he will be making and releasing new music. Who knows 
what type of music he's going to release. I don't think he's going to get away with saying the same stuff he did in his last songs, mostly because no one is going to vibe with it as hard as they did the first time, knowing that he is not about that. He actually did snitch on a lot of people. And that has lost him a lot of fans and followers. So most likely everyone will be listening to the music 6 9 drops. It will still probably go viral. But he is still going to get a lot of backlash and a lot of hate. Especially if he comes out of prison and acts the same way he was acting before he got sent in. Because I don't think that's going to fly anymore. And who knows how safe he's also going to be on the outside. Because when you're involved in that gang life and then you go in and release a lot of information... A lot of people are not going to be okay with that, and he has denied witness protection, so who knows how safe he will really be on the outside. But we will see on December 18th of 2019 when he will be released and if he will be released with no charges and time served. It could be very, very soon. With that being said, I am going to end the video here. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. If you do want to see 6 9 free, leave a comment on this video and say free 6 9 If you think that he deserves to be locked up, comment keep 6 9 Also, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe and leave a like on the video and I will see you in the next one.